on you this week, but you went out there and, and performed and seemed like you really enjoyed that. I want to thank people for all the support they've given me. Uh -huh. Especially the people at home, the people in the audience. You all, and you are at top back to everybody. I'd like to thank you all for all your support. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's, it's, been a, it's been a week full of pressure for all of the acts here tonight, none more so than you. Was that worth it, that, that in front of everybody here? With... Well worth it. <laughs> well worth it. That's a hell of everything. <laughs> That's where you really feel at home, isn't it, there, on stage? I really feel at home on stage, of course I do. I'm among friends, am I not? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think you are. Let's cross over to the judges and find out. Uh, Piers, what did you think of Susan's performance? <laughs> wow, Susan, you've had... A very difficult week. You've had an amazing seven weeks, but a very difficult week where you've been the centre of the world's attention. There have been negative headlines, you've been boiling over, cracking up, going to quit the show, all this kind of thing. And quietly, all I kept thinking to myself was, all you have to do to answer all your critics is walk down that stage to that microphone, sing the song that we all fell in love with, sing it better than you did last time. And, Susan... I'm not supposed to favour anyone in this competition as a judge. I should be impartial, but you know what? Forget it. That, to me, was the greatest performance I've seen in Britain's Got Talent history. You should win this competition. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Amanda. <laughs> Susan. I have never heard such powerful, confident vocals. You absolutely, you sang it so well this evening. And I just echo what Piers said, really. You, out of everybody this week, has been under an enormous amount of pressure. But you did it, girl. You did it for Scotland, and you did it for Great Britain. Thanks, Thanks Amanda. Fun. And can I just say, Simon had a tear in his eye, and I've never seen that before. Is that right, Simon? <laughs> Oh, Susan, I, I don't know who's going to win this competition, but, you know, you've, you've had a, a, a weird seven weeks and you had every right to walk away from this and you could have walked away and you could have had a lot of stuff coming your way in America um, and a lot of people said that you shouldn't even be in this competition, that, that you're not equipped to deal with it. For what? For you to sit home with your cat and say, I've missed an opportunity. I completely disagree with that. <laughs> well, I do. And, you know, win or lose, you had the guts to come back here tonight, 
face your critics and you beat them. And that's the most important thing. And whatever happens, Susan, and, you know, I've got to know the real Susan Boyle, which is not the person I've seen portrayed in the media, who is still a very nice, shy person who just wants a break. You can walk away with this, win or lose, with your head held high, Susan. I absolutely adore you.